All right, next, let's talk about a uh, Lady Beetles. All right, How that's the them? one that everybody's familiar Everybody with. Everybody knows those. Um, and they like to eat aphids, mites, mealybugs, and eggs. Okay. And the adults and the larvae will both eat those. Um, their eggs are yellow and laid in clusters. So if you see those, you want to leave them there. Mm -hmm. And then their larvae look kind of like a scary bad bug. It's <laughs> red and black and spiky and right. striped. You think, wow, is that really what the uh -huh. immature ladybug looks like? But it is. Um, and one larva can eat 400 aphids. And then they pupate three or four weeks later. And then the, um, the adult that comes out of the uh, pupa comes out hungry and will eat 5,000 aphids in their lifetime. And you can get a couple of generations in a growing season. And um, you can also plant things like angelica, coreopsis, dill, fennel, and yarrow, so things with small flowers. You want to let some of your herbs actually go to flowers to encourage your beneficials. And um, you can buy adults, but they will fly away yeah. if they run out of a food source. Right. So in general, if you're going to purchase a beneficial insect, it's best they're best used in a greenhouse yeah. setting. Right. Exactly. So they're in a, an enclosed environment. Exactly. But if you have a greenhouse, they're great to buy on, to, to buy online or whatever and, and release. Um, and also, uh, as we all know, ladybugs like to protect, like to over overwinter in protected yes. areas, like inside of your house. Yes. So that's a little bit about our lady beetles. Okay, yeah, they uh, tend to hang out with me every winter. Yeah, at yeah. my house. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you liked it, subscribe. We have hundreds of family plot videos for you to view.